The Rock Church recruited dozens of volunteers to help local health care workers. After the break, how they work to fix thousands of face masks for use during this pandemic. The efforts show the power of volunteers. We'll talk, we'll talk with there, that guy right there. The recently, the birthday boy, the pastor, Miles McPherson, about how you can continue the work today. We'll have that conversation in just a bit. One of San Diego's most well-known churches is stepping up to help our health care providers. Volunteers with the Rock Church spent much of yesterday repairing masks. As you may know, hospitals are running low on these protective medical supplies, and we got to see how the Rock Church is helping out in any way they can. I just wanted to help because I've been watching on the news all the people that have been hurting in the hospitals that don't have the resources and my wife and my two sons are here, my two grown sons are here and we just wanted to be a help to our, our community. Every volunteer who came to help were screened and asked questions about their health, including getting their temperature taken before they provided their volunteer services. The Rock Church of San Diego is helping out first responders and joining us to tell us more about it, one of the most important members of our community, Mr. Miles McPherson, who is displaying one of those masks as we see him via Skype. Uh, Pastor McPherson, did I, I don't know, I want to correct, for some reason, I think you recently experienced a milestone birthday. Do I have that correct? Or is it, or is yeah, that? I turned, I turned 60 years old yesterday. Okay, so I, I, you know, for some reason, it just came to me like a vision in my sleep. I, I must have read it somewhere. Happy birthday. You spent your birthday. I'm sure you've spent many a birthday, but once again, you're out helping the community. Explain how you hit on the idea of refurbishing these important, uh, you know, masks, the uh, 95 well, you masks. Know, we stand here as a servant to the county and we're always asking, you know, the schools and the police and the county and the city, how can we help? How can we help? And so whatever disaster or tragedy, police shooting, whatever, we, we want to know uh, how we can help. And uh, the Office of uh, Emergency Services present us with this opportunity to fix these masks, 300,000 of these. The rubber bands are faulty, but the masks work, so we're just going to repair 300,000 of them over the next two or three weeks at all our campuses. This week will just be at Point Loma campus, but next week we'll be at other three other campuses around San Diego, so people in San Marcos area, El Cajon, City Heights area can help us. Uh, and so we, we just want to respond to the need. My mother was a nurse. My grandmother was a nurse. And you don't have to have a family member to know that nurses and doctors and medical staff are critically, critically important. They have servants' hearts. They put their life on the line, especially now. The least we can do is help them have equipment. This is a sad that we that we even have to do this in America. But let's step up and do what we got to do. We want to let all the people working in the hospitals know we care for you. We love you. We support you. Um, and we're here for you. I hope one of the good things that comes out of all this, Pastor McPherson, is that as a country, we stock way up and that our production line keeps turning out these masks until we have more masks than we know what to do with. But that's a conversation for later. For people who want to volunteer with you, I, I imagine one of the big concerns you have while trying to help people that you don't hurt people who work on the assembly line. Could you review again how you're making sure everybody is as healthy as possible? Well, as you can see, the people are sitting far more than six feet away. Uh, this screen, in other words, in, in all, and also, you want to, in order to come, you have to fill out a questionnaire. You can text the word info to five two five two five, info to five two five two five, or go to our website. And you have to fill out a questionnaire. And then when you get there, they 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 check your temperature. They ask you some basic. Uh, health questions. Have you been outside the country? Have you been around somebody who's uh, been exposed to someone with COVID? Do you have a cough, temperature, et cetera? So we, we screen people several layers and then they sit more than six feet away and they have their workstation and we give them masks and rubber bands and they just start fixing them. And, you know, it's so simple that this little rubber band could cause uh, this being faulty could cause a nurse to have to reuse this over and over again. And so we can help solve that problem really simple. If you want to help, uh, we're full today, but we're going to be doing this Thursday, Friday this week and all next week and all the week after that, as long as it takes to do 300,000. Um, and, and so we're going to help the nurses and doctors and medical staff and even the patients, you know, whoever comes in the hospital, however they want to use those. But uh, they should not have to be reusing masks. 
I think everybody would agree with you there. We, we have complete consensus. Before I let you go, I'd like to get your take on, on the pastor in Florida, and I believe there's one in Louisiana who's running afoul of the law because they're continuing to have their church services and obviously exposing a lot of people to perhaps getting sick. What is your message to your, your fellow pastors? Hey, yeah, you know, I heard that, that he was doing that a week or two ago. I can't believe he's still doing it. Well, I just pray for him. You know, we're taking care of the rock in San Diego. We have way more people online than we did before uh, and reaching. So I think he's missing an opportunity to reach more people and also be a good witness. I mean, we have to work with the work with the laws uh, as they are and, and keep people safe, do the wisest thing. So I just I just hope that those guys would uh, uh, follow the law and and follow the Lord. I mean, man, we, we got to. Um, uh, work with our principalities and our authorities in, in our city. So, but right here in San Diego, people are here not going to church on Sunday in the buildings. We are online. Matter of fact, if you want to come to church this Sunday, uh, and obviously Easter in two weeks, sdrock.com, you can check us out 8, 10, 12, and 6 p.m. Uh, we're having services and, and a lot of people are getting the gospel and getting encouragement because that's where we, we got to encourage people. Our job is to be a blessing to people, encourage people. And if you don't mind, before I go, Paul, I would love to pray for San Diego, pray for our nurses and doctors and all the people working in the hospitals, if I can do that. Absolutely. Okay. Lord, thank you so much for uh, this opportunity. We thank you for your faithfulness and your love for us. And Lord, amidst this tough time, probably the toughest time we've ever had, the most uncertain time we have in our lifetime. We know that you are certain, that you, you are faithful, you love us, you care for us. So I pray, pray for safety uh, for all the people working in the hospitals. I pray you encourage them. There are a lot of people worried about their jobs, how they're going to eat. Lord, we pray that you would provide supernaturally in ways they know it was God. In 1 Peter 5, 6, it says, therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may lift, exalt you in due time casting all your cares upon him for he cares for you. And I want to declare to everyone listening, God cares you. He knows who you are. And I want to ask you and encourage you to just cry out to him every day, every day consistently and say, Lord, uh, please provide for my need. Please encourage me. Protect my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Miles. God bless you. Thank hey, you thank much. you, Paul. God hey, helps man, those who helps themselves. We all have to stay indoors during this time and, and follow you online. Uh, and thank you for all those masks. Continue the good work, Miles. We'll chat again. Hello, hi. Uh, Laura's uh, munching on a, hi, uh, on a protein bar. She says hi right back at you. <laughs> all right, Miles, thank you for the spiritual moment. We'll have uh, a little bit more when Good Morning San Diego returns.